Hello everyone. I will be doing a espresso on both the Flair Classic as well as the La Pavoni Professional. It's probably not going to be the best comparison considering this is powered and this one isn't. For the Flair, I do have the pressure gauge. So hopefully that will help provide me a bit of an extra pull in regards to knowing how many bars I'm pulling. Compared to the Lavavoni, I don't have any pressure gauge apart from the boiler gauge. So pulling the Lavavoni, I don't know exactly how much bars of pressure I'm pulling. However, it would be good to try and compare both of them. So beans I'm using, it's one which I roasted back on the 8th of January this year. It's Colombian Excelso. Um, put cupping is plum, walnut, dark chocolate, juicy. In the tampon I'll be using, so as we know, the flare is a 51ml pour filter. Which is I've got here. And for the flare, it is a lot smaller, as you can see. So, again, this is, I think, 39mm, if I remember compared to the 51 but let's try and get this going okay so the only puck prep I'll be doing for both machines is just a WD thing let's give this a go I'm just going to do something very similar with the flare. Pretty much WD thing from the very bottom for the basket and then slowly swirling up. And then just even it up a little bit. Okay, so for the Lapavoni, I do have a puck screen, which I'll be using. And for the flare, I also have a puck screen. More like a puck cover rather than a screen. So this is the puck. Uh, okay, so this is the porta filter for the flare. Let me the funnel. I'll be doing the same thing. So from the very bottom and going up. ready puck screen okay so this is the chamber let's get this
So what I'll do is I'm going to do the flare first and then straight after. Alright, so I've got my two cups ready. Alright, so let's put the... Get that ready. Alright, so I'm going to put this on. a little bit, let it soak the cup, it's five grams in already, eight grams, okay I'll start pulling, twenty three grams in, 30 grams. Oh. There you go. 40 grams in. It's 40. Okay, that's roughly 45 grams in. And then let me do the next one. Using. Once I reach roughly five grams, I'll slowly pull more. So it's five grams now. Eight. I'll lift up a little bit. It's ten grams, and now it's time to pull. I noticed. That's 40 grams in there. Right. 40 grams in. I noticed. Alright. So, one thing I noticed straight away. So, these are the two cups. This is from the flare. You can notice uh, there's actually more crema on the flare compared to compared to this one, which has less crema. This is from the La Pavone. What I noticed straight away, what what I noticed straight away, is the flare has way too much pressure when pushing down. Therefore, the grind I've used. So I've used actually both the same grind for both machines. The flare is perfect for that grind. For the La Pavone, the actual grind was way too coarse. It was just too runny. However, that shouldn't be um, shouldn't stop us from actually trying it out. So again, let me try the flare first. They actually make some really, really nice espresso. Very pleasant to drink. You can actually taste a lot of the chocolate and plum. This is the La Pavone. So, the La Pavone, even though it was a little bit runnier, it actually is very nice, more fruitier. Uh, one thing straight away is the flare has more of a body shot not as strong in regard to taste, maybe because it's cooling down quickly. Compared to the Lapavoni,
This has a very chocolatey taste with that slight plum in the background. This one has that slight chocolatey taste and more like a caramel chocolate, but a stronger plum taste. A very sweet plum. There's no sourness. So the actual beans, the beans are roasted. It's Colombian Excelso. Plum walnut, dark chocolate juicy. I can definitely taste the walnut on both. However, it is a sharper taste in the Lapagani. It could be also because it is still a lot hotter than I'm getting from the flare. So you have to remember the, the flare, there's no electricity. So I'm, when I pour the water and boiling point in here, it's already losing heat. By the time it reaches a cup, it's losing its heat already. With the Lapavoni, let me turn that off. With the Lapavoni, it's still hot. So right, right now, it's still 90 degrees. Let me push this back a bit. So let's try to do a bit of a comparison of the pucks that's coming out. Now let's take this out so especially when it's hot it's so uncomfortable to try and pull out the puck because you tend to get burnt here and there with your palms oh, this is a bit hard isn't it? all right there you go so that's the camber This is a screen. So as you can see, it's sticking quite a lot on the screen. And this is the, if you can see it, that's a puck. It's actually pretty hard to take out. If I can, I'll try. It's very messy. See that? This is where, I've got a puck drawer. The puck drawer is nice because I can bang all the pucks, the dry pucks there. Then at the end of the day, I'll throw it all out. So this is the, still a little bit left. So this is the water filter. And so that's the, that's probably the downside with the flare. Uh, maybe the Flare 58 a little bit different as you do have a portal filter where you can actually take it out and then bang it and throw it away. Not like this one, it is pretty deep and because it's pretty deep, it does get pretty stuck in there. So now let's do a comparison. So this is, if I do a temp of the of the actual coffee itself, it's 40, it's around, roughly around 40, 42 degrees. So now this is for the Lapavoni, comes off quickly, clean, and this is, temperature is 56 degrees, and it's dry. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So clean. And this is pretty clean too. I know it's just puck which you'll throw away eventually, but it does make the workflow in cleaning up a lot quicker and easily if it, they come out clean like this. And it's better. Anyone want a brownie? So there's definitely a big difference in regards to cleaning up afterwards. But if I take that out of the scenario and just focus on the drink itself, this is the flare, and this is the Lapavoni. They are definitely both very pleasant to drink.
I actually can enjoy espresso on a lever machine more than what I do on a 61. I find the E61s they are too a little bit too sharp, too strong, too bitter, too sour. You get a bit of a mix of everything. And I sometimes I just it's kind of luck of the draw when it comes to the E61. They everyone always says when you have a lever machine you're not always going to get exactly the same puck and the same taste but to be honest I've actually been enjoying it really well and I've got no complaints at all whatsoever so in general again both provide great extractions anyone would be happy with both um, but the main key area here for me is when you clean up cleaning up all I really have to do is clean up this the portafilter and then that's pretty much it for the flare I have to clean up the portafilter I need to pull out pressure gauge and the actual plunger is stuck in there so the only way to take that out is use the the cup that came with it press it and that comes out is the plunger so again different workflow but they do both provide a great experience which you want um, what's good with the flare is you can bring it with you if you're going camping all you need is hot water but yeah that's me thanks for checking in hopefully it was a good comparison not probably the best comparison considering they are two different kind of machines but I always wondered what the difference are if I actually taste the same coffee the same grind level and yeah, it was a very good outcome. See you all.